Hey guys, I am super excited. I am officially a homeowner. Hey guys, what is up everyone and welcome to my empty house tour. Uh, it's kind of backlit. This is not like it's a cool setup. Welcome to my empty house tour. We're kind of like restarting, but let's let's show you guys around. I am excited because I got it for less than like my budget. I'm able to put more money into it, into renovations, into, you know, decor, all that amazing things. I'm just so excited for you guys to see like the before and after. But this video is going to be the empty house tour. I'm going to show you guys like my vision, and then later on, we'll have like a tr fully transformation video. So, let's start from the front door. Mrs. D'Amelio put me on to an absolutely amazing interior designer, Sarah West, icon, queen. She had decorated and fully <sighs> done up these places that Mrs. D'Amelio, when they were looking for a house, so she introduced me to her. We started talking, and we were able to kind of get my vibe. She then came here last week. We walked room by room and was like, I'm thinking this, like guys, I'm an absolute slut for Pinterest, like an absolute whore, if you will, um, for Pinterest, okay? My vibe is very dark, modern, industrial, is like how she kind of put it. She was very impressed though. She's like, you're a 21 year old boy and you're like very passionate about like, <laughs> and you seem to have a clear idea. And I was like, yes, I do, but I also need help because if I did this all by myself, it would look like I literally threw up in here. Bam, open the door. First thing you see, okay. Okay, let's see how I'm gonna film this, okay. You come on in, first thing you see, your eyes go straight here. So we have box of shoes. I'm gonna finally be able to say, Guys, shoot off, shoot off in the house. Come here, you have like these cool windows that are like tinted, but then not. And look at this view. That is Century City over there. But guys, this is extra stuff that I needed. Ignore that, we'll come this way. Go over here. Open, very open. These are all my candles. Shout out Sniff. Sniffco. Sniff.co. Shout out Sniff. They sent me all of these amazing ones, and then you have, doesn't squeak or anything, but it's a soft, my favorite one. Both of these nuts. I'm like so like antsy right now, and I just wanna unpack things, but I can't yet because I'm kinda leaving everything in boxes right now until she measures stuff. Let me set the vibe for you guys. Focus! So, very big space as you can see. I don't know where to start. From the Pinterest board, one of the things that you can tell right off the bat is that all the things that correlate is like really cool, dark, modern, industrial walls. I think the walls are gonna pull it all together. So you see all this white and like cream? We don't want that. And Sarah was like, I know exactly what you want. I know exactly what you need. We're like this, we're on the same page, which is very exciting because when we walked through it, she was like, love, love, love. I'm thinking about keeping these floors and then I might do like a mock cement, like wall, like a gray on the ceiling. I don't know what the ceiling's gonna be yet, but like dark mark, so either black or mock cement. I can't run you through all my ideas because if they don't work out, then I'm just gonna look stupid. And then this wall right here is what I'm super excited for. I want brick. I want brick. I looked it up and she was like, I know exactly what you need. I was like, Jesus, I love you. This right here is obviously like, a bar with like a cooler thing. I'm gonna make this little area, hey there, into like a coffee stand. Maybe like a little record player vinyl setup right here next to the TV, think it could be cool. Going into the kitchen, here's what we got. What she suggested, what Sarah suggested here, was lowering this and just making it all level but still going out as far as here. Obviously, we have the Viking appliances. I don't know if I want it like, Viking's great, love Viking. Let me set it up for you guys. I'm thinking here, I'm thinking instead of the white, I'm gonna do like a wood. And it's not gonna be too hard, we're just gonna resurface these cabinets. Everything, like it works great, you know, everything works great. <laughs> Never mind. Wood, black. Instead of the like marble that you get here, it's gonna be black. And then, you know how that wall, what I was saying with the brick? It's gonna run through, the brick is gonna stay here, the brick's gonna be in here, and then it's gonna stop right here, obviously that's not gonna be brick, and then it's gonna keep going brick right here. So it's gonna be black, brick, Black wood. Anyways, this is the first bathroom. It's like a half bathroom because there's no shower or anything. We're just gonna up we're just gonna update this. Come over here, you have the stairs. <gasps> but you have that big open room. But then you look over here, bam! Literally, I love how my whole entire house is empty, nothing set up, but I still <laughs> still set up the game chair. So what I'm thinking for this room, like obviously it's such a cool space. Up here, I'm thinking I'm gonna have a projector hanging from here and going onto this wall right here. Big open space. And I'm thinking because I want this to be like a game room slash movie room, 
like hardwood isn't really the vibe. I think it's gonna be cool to have this one room that's like the cozy room. Big TV above the fireplace, so cool, cozy. Then a projector screen right here. And then obviously cloud couch right here, bean bag, bean bag. And then just, you can just vibe. And then all the, this is all gonna be carpet. Like a straight up man cave, going up the stairs. All this white that you're seeing, she's gonna, she said we can do black right here. So you get up here. We are now on the second floor, baby. Turn around, this is where we just came from. Feet, straight in front of us, nothing. Left, the master. This is a bathroom, let's go into the bathroom first. Bathroom's kinda beat, I'm not gonna lie. Hey guys, ew, I hate the tiles. I'm not a big bath guy, and if I were, for reference, it's just like, I'm just so small. I have a lot of products. I am blessed to have a lot of things sent to me and a lot of it including like skincare because a lot of people know that like I'm big into like skincare and like hair and just like what wellness and beauty. But I might as well just like take this out and get like shelves or some kind of like cabinet dresser type situation. I do have a tushy. Shout out tushy. It's like a bidet. And then we got the shower. The shower actually has a steam. The shower's cool. I don't mind the shower. It's different than the rest of the house. But I don't mind keeping it like this. I think it's different. Is it ugly? It might be a little ugly, but bathrooms are expensive. And honestly, like if we just coat over some of this and just like update it slightly and like do what I have to do there, I don't care if the shower is ugly. I just want good water pressure and healthy water, if that makes sense. I might completely take these doors out and do like some like bamboo sliding kind of thing or like wood. I'll go over here, closet. For the people that know me, I have a lot of shoes and clothes and just, I need big closet space. So hold that thought because I'm gonna make one of the rooms into a closet and very excited. This is where we came from, from the hallway. King size mattress with like, I think I wanna do this thing where it like kind of branches off and it's almost like a platform to get up to the bed. Do a TV right here, like a big TV that can swing out slightly so I can see it from here. But then I'm also gonna get like, I think a couch right here and I'm gonna have like a coffee table, maybe a plant in this corner, and I'm just gonna be able to like lounge right here and watch it straight on, maybe play video games or something like that. Lots of ideas for the bedroom, again, excited. From the master, we came from there, and then we can leave from here. This is a, another little balcony spot we have. Let's go to the other room, gang. Come over here, open this door, and we have this room. So this is where I just came from. Up the stairs, come here, go to the right, and that's the room I just walked into. This is where it saved me, and this is what really makes me want to take out the bath for the other, for the master, because I was like, if I want to take a bath, this bath is like sick and big, and it's like a spa. This bathroom's actually really cool. Obviously, again, update it to the aesthetic that I want. Come on, natural light. That is one thing this, this house is not lacking at all. So you have this room, all right? And here's what I'm thinking. This is where the closet room comes in, because it's, it's cool, because it's kind of attached to the balcony of my master, so I can literally, you know, from bed, walk out naked, in that little balcony and just walk straight into my closet. So, in here what I'm thinking is double racks in some kind of way. And then same over here so I can hang everything and then like have enough room to like put shoes under, maybe two, two shelves each. But then in the middle to maximize space, so I'm gonna get a big island and then on top maybe have like those little drawers that have like your jewelry or I'll have like jewelry stands up here, you know like those cool ones with like the hand and then the third and final bedroom. So this is the fourth bathroom, but this is the storage room for now. So I'm gonna make this room into like an office slash guest room. But yeah, this is all the stuff that the movers moved yesterday. Shout out Roadway Moving again. The last person that was here left this desk bike. Probably never gonna use it, but thanks, I guess. And then they left this actually like this really big like full size mirror, which is I'll definitely use to be fair. The correlation that I had to all my ideas is just like cool walls. I think walls can really bring something together. And obviously the decor. I'm stoked. Uh, this is crazy. Like it's literally, it's my place. And next chapter begins. I've been in LA for literally two years now. And nothing's really felt like a home. I've been in four houses um, in those two years. I hate, I don't like moving. I'm done moving my stuff around. I have a lot of stuff and I just want to come home from a long trip and being like, ugh, kick my legs up and being like, I'm not worried in like a few months that I have to pack up everything and go again. I'm very fortunate to be in a position where I'm able to do this at this age in LA and I can't thank you guys enough, genuinely. Thank you guys so much for watching this empty house tour of mine. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys 
give it a big thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and comment giving me some tips. Like, hey, no, I'd like to see this here, or like, maybe you should try this. Like, I need all the advice I can get and all the ideas, so. Thank you, and onward with the journey. Peace. Icons. Hey, we got you some toilets, some paper towels. Love it. Bear with me. These are ten full boxes of shoes. <laughs> you can, you know, you know, as soon as you get a calendar, you think you're like just different, next level motivated, you know.